Chapter 14, Into the Future. Ugh, where is this? I was dragged. I can't. Losing consciousness again. I am sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. While I encountered more difficulty than anticipated, I finally succeeded in the capture, yes. I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I will see to the elimination immediately. I understand. As you wish. I take my leave. Hey, Zing. Wake up, Zing. Uh. Wh where? You're awake. This place, I think it's a jail. Jail? I just woke up a while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. I tried opening the doors, but they're locked. There doesn't seem to be any other way out. I think what we've—I think that we've been locked up. Uh huh. Well, that's just great. But what's going on? We're locked up. I don't know what's going on either, but I may as well investigate. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. So we're in a jail cell. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Tested the doors, the doors failed to open. Big surprise there. Like Kat said, these doors won't open. Sure looks like we have been locked up. Hmm, how do we end up this way? I think what happened was, Dustnoir grabbed us, and then he dragged us into the dimensional hole. Huh? Wait, so is this maybe, is this the future? Oh my goodness, I had a terrible dream. I became a movie star and I was recording people doing videos and stuff like that. And I was in some weird town called Lively Town. Wait, no, wow. No, never mind. I guess that was just a dream. That's just too crazy. But why are we in the future? I don't believe this. I mean, this is the future? Why are we even here? Ugh, but this whole room is built in a way unlike anything I've ever seen. Now that I've had time to think, maybe this is actually... The future. Maybe it really is. Oh my goodness, what? Zig, did we really end up in the future? Ugh, now what are we supposed to do? So if, if this place is the future, how are we supposed to get back to our world? This is bad. Bear awake, how convenient. All right, we'll do this quick. Do this quick, do what? What? Ah! They have me blindfolded! I can't see! Come with us! Ow! Quit shoving! Uh, this blindfold makes it impossible to tell where I'm going. Where are they taking us? We're here! Oh snap! What? Where is this? They have me dressed up! I can't move! Why is this happening? Hey! Cats! Am I glad to see you? You're okay, right? <sighs> You're clueless about what's going to happen. I guess you can afford to be nonchalant about it. Huh? That voice came from over there. Grovile! You two. Do you have any inkling about where you are here? Or about where you are? N no this is a stockade. They're preparing to get rid of us for good. What? G get rid of us? Wait a second. I can understand why they want to get rid of you, Grovile. But why us? We haven't done anything wrong. Huh. I couldn't care less. You must have done something that they can't tolerate. What? We haven't done anything bad. Don't think we're like you. I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. 
Oh, this is bad. Wah! Who are they? They're the jailers who do all the dirty work around here. They also happen to be Dust Noir's underlings. What? The great Dust Noirs? Hey, it's Dust Noir! Lord Dust Noir, the three have been tied to the stakes. Good. Dust Noir, sir! It's me, Cat! Very well, Sableye. Those three, we need to be rid of them. What? Pay them no heed. You may get ready. <laughs> Wait a minute! Dust Noir, sir! What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to us? Don't waste your breath. Instead, shh, keep your voices down so they can't hear you. Keep my voice down. It's hotter, to, it's, it's hotter than it sounds. You two, if you want to get away, give me your full cooperation. What? I mean, what? Help you, Grovile! There's no time to think! Would you rather just stick around for them? Psst, hey! You there! Tell me, what can you do right now? What? What can I do? You asked me that out of nowhere. Um, let's see, I have some vines. Um, I, I'm gonna try vine whip or something, I don't know. Move? That could work, but no, that's no good. We're trussed up, so we can't move. It has to be something you can do instantaneously. It doesn't need to be flashy. Can't you do anything more basic? Eric, you're not helping. Um... How about... attack? That's it! That'll do! If it's just a regular attack, I can help too! Good. I'm glad they're taking their sweet time. Then <laughs> we are ready to begin! Very well, but be vigilant to the end. Don't take your eyes off them, especially that Grovile. <laughs> Commence now. <laughs> They're coming! Listen carefully. Sableye used claws to strike. Yikes, that sounds scary. And that might just open one avenue for escape. The Sableye will unleash their fury swipes in a frenzy. That's our chance. If even one of their attacks were to hit the ropes binding us. Oh, right. The ropes might come loose. Exactly. And if that happens, lash out with an attack, then flee. But, but, but... What if their fury swipes don't slash the ropes? What if they slash us instead? And what if they don't use fairy swipes at all? <laughs> if that happens, don't even think about it. Ah! Er, en endure it! Wait for your chance! But if they keep going, we'll be down before our chance comes! Hey! There's a break in the road. Now! Attack! Go! Quah! Wha what is this? There! Yeah! We can't see! Compose yourselves! It's only a luminous orb! Its effect wears off quickly! B blasted! That Grovile! He fled using the flash from that luminous orb as cover! They won't get away with this! Come! <laughs> I got dirt in my mouth. We're safe. So Grovile can use Dig. Sure knows many moves. We got out of that scrape, but we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get out of here and fast. Maybe not too fast, though. They could be right behind us. Come on, this way. We need to keep running if, until we hit the exit. Come on, faster! Pick it up! This is the fastest I can go! Quit ordering me around! Ya big joke! Anyway, Grovile! What? Is this... the future? That's right. You catch on fast. Er, so it is after all. Are we... are we gonna be able to get back to our world? Who knows? We just need to get away for now. If we get caught, returning home will be the least of your worries. Run faster! I can't! I'm exhausted! <laughs> We're almost there. Look, the exit is right there. <sighs> we, we did it! We're outside! What? What? What is this?
is. This is our world? In the future? Those boulders are floating. This is a really strange place. And it's horribly dark. Not even the wind blows. It's as if all movement. It's as if everything stopped. Exactly. What? <laughs> uh, I hear those Sableye. We have to keep running. <sighs> hey, girl, Vile, I'm beat. There's no time to rest. If they catch us, we're done. Tough it out and run. That's easy for you to say. Huh. I can't. I have to rest. All right. You don't hear me complaining, cat. This forms a natural alcove. This should shield us from view. After a quick rest, we'll have to get moving again. Well, wait a minute. When we escaped from the stockade, you cooperated, or we cooperated with you because we had to. But we never promised we'd go with you afterward. A bad Pokemon like you, I'm not about to trust you with anything. Cats. Hmph. So I'm the bad guy, and that Dustnor is the good guy? Then how about explaining Dustnor's actions earlier? It wasn't just me. They wanted you gone, too. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I should be trusting you, Grovile. Earning your trust isn't an easy task, it seems. I thought that having allies would help, but there's no point continuing together without trust. We'll go our separate ways. I'm staying on the move. You two should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait a second. You say to leave soon, but it's dark out. It's tough to see where we're going. Instead of staying on the move right now, why not wait for morning? Can't we wait to leave until it gets light out? That is impossible. I hate to say it, but morning never comes. Huh? This world, your future. It's a world of perpetual darkness. The sun never rises, so morning never comes. The darkness persists forever. What? why Because the planet has been paralyzed. The planet is paralyzed? The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? That's right, I remember now. Dustnor described the, the planet's paralysis before. It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As more, as many more are taken, time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to this world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed, no winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. The planet's paralysis. It's true that this place appears just like Dustmore described it. But even then... It's hard to understand how the planet had been paralyzed in the future. You're free to believe or reject what I'm telling you. Either way, I suggest you leave here as soon as you can. I'm going. Don't let those Sableye catch you. Hark, Zig, I don't know what to think anymore. Wasn't the planet's paralysis supposed to be caused by all those time gears going missing? That's why we all tried to stop Grovile from stealing the time gears. We did everything we were supposed to, right? Yuxi and the others said they'd return the time gears to the rightful places. That was supposed to prevent the planet's paralysis. But despite all our efforts, why is the planet still paralyzed in our future? <laughs> I don't know who or what to believe anymore. <laughs> ah, the Sableye. We can't stick around here, Zig. Let's get ready quickly so we can get rolling. Yeah, we need to move every Zig. Okay, my goodness. So we're in the future, guys. It's happening. The future is now. 
Thanks to Dust Noir. Um, yeah, so it's gonna get kind of rocky up ahead, but I might as well go ahead and deposit any items I'm not gonna be using. Any kind of like boxes, not gonna need those for a while because we're stuck in the future. Um, let's see, having seeds could definitely help as well as some orbs in case things get a little, a little rough. Some reviver seeds. All right, let's store this stuff and let's see if there's anything in here that could help a bit. Um, actually, how am I doing on food? For some reason, I don't think there's gonna be all that much here. Wait, I just wanna make sure. Uh, I don't have any apples, so yes, bringing along two or three apples would be a smart idea. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, we'll take three, just in case. And we have three Reviver Seeds, some Orin Berries, that should be pretty good. All right, let's go. Are y'all ready, Zig? All set. All right, let's roll. The Chasm Cave. Ooh, a TM, that's good. And a Magnemite, oh, nice. All right, let's, uh, let's hit this thing with Tackle. Yeah, take that. Ooh, a deluxe box. Yeah, you'll still get boxes, but they're not gonna be that helpful to you um, because you can't use them. You can't, like, open them up or anything until you get, uh, well, <laughs> hopefully we'll get back from the future. I'll just say that much. But, uh, yeah, it, it could be... Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. It could be a while. Um, all right, anyhow, this is kind of an interesting dungeon because, well, as you can see, oh, actually, let's use this radar orb. Might as well use it. I'm not gonna hold on to it. Yeah, so there are enemies around, and they can be interesting. Here, take that. Oh, agility, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, and you only have Cats and Zig, or whoever your two Pokemon are, for this adventure here. Um, not a lot of others to use. But that's fine, as long as they're, you know, relatively decent level, you should be okay. Ooh, Psych Up, why would you do that? That was so bad. Also, nothing here can be uh, recruited, so don't worry too much about that. You're not gonna get any of these Pokemon during this adventure. Um, wow, that was terrible. <laughs> you didn't hit a single time there, Zig. Or cats, I'm sorry. Ooh. TMs left and right, payback. Actually, payback might not be a bad idea. Let me see if anyone can learn that, because that could be good. Having a dark type move could help. There's quite a few Pokemon that are weak to dark here. So cats could learn it, but I have to get rid of Screech. Um, actually that's fine. You know what? I think we'll Oh, but Screech is so good. These are all such great moves. Um trying to think. Well, actually, in thinking about it, we're going to need something. Um, just in case those Sableye get there, there's nothing that cats can really do. So having payback will be a good idea. <laughs> All right, we'll just go without Screech for a little bit. Screech is a great move. It was a tough decision. Like, those are all really useful moves. But I think for right now, we'll, we'll just have to... We'll just have to go with uh, getting rid of Screech. Whoa, it's an Onyx! All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and razor leaf that thing. Haha, <laughs> nice. And that was even enough to gain Zig a level. Sweet. And of course, cats too. Plus I got a new uh, tactic. Be patient. Oh, payday. What does this do? The enemy drops money if it faints. That's kind of nice. Wait, what's its range? Um, enemy in front, physical. Four power, I mean, that does sound good. Maybe I'll learn that later. I think right now money's the least of my concerns. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's go about our business here. Whoa! Yeah, one, uh, one potential pitfall with this dungeon here is some of the Pokemon like Magnemite, they can just float over the edge there. And I just lost my gorgeous box, whoops. Uh, yeah, so be wary of that. Oh, I guess I don't need this used TM. I mean, I could hold on to it, use your cycle, I think, but not worth it, not worth it. Now, I think there's like eight floors to this. It's not like a really large dungeon. Um, oh, there's a lot of TMs here. Ooh, looks like the cave's changed a little bit. Now that we're on the fifth floor, I don't know if it changes when you get to that point or not, 
Also, it seems like a lot of the dungeons in this cave, or the floors, they kind of like have the same basic pattern. Good hit there, cats. Where it's like, there's all sorts of little uh, corridors and stuff, and just kind of like flat rooms like that, which is fine. It makes it relatively easy to explore, although it's kind of just a matter of getting lucky with entering the right room with the stairs. Um, but at least it should give you an idea of, you know, the basic layout of each floor, more or less. You use Sandstorm? That was pretty rude of you. Get out of here. All right, so yeah, we're gonna take some damage from the Sandstorm, but it's fine, it's not too much. I guess the most important thing you need to watch out if Onyx uses Sandstorm is I think it still ends up raising its uh, uh, special defense. So if you're using any sort of like special based moves against it, you'll do a little bit less. At least while the sandstorm's active. Oh my, look at all these Pokemon here. Yeah, come on, help me out. There we go. There we go. Wow, you just can't hit pigs, apparently. Oh, poor Grumpig, but I don't know. Just can't face your claws, I guess. Ooh, what have we here? Graveler Rock. Okay, let's go ahead onto the seventh floor. Whoa, there's an Onyx. All right, we're gonna use Razor Leaf again. I gotta be mindful because I'm running a little bit low on uh, PP for Tackle, but I still have plenty, so I should be fine. Uh, but I'm also running low on my belly. Whoa, 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 okay, that hurt. Let's use Razor Leaf and get rid of you right away. Finish you off with a regular attack. Ooh, here we go. Apple and brine. Huh, okay. All right, the eighth floor. I'm not entirely sure. I think this is the last floor. It might be nine. Whoa, yeah, see what I mean about those magneton? They can just kind of like float over and just kind of creep up on you. It's like, whoa, wasn't expecting that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and eat something in just a moment here. If I can find the stairs, I might not even need to use an apple. Oh, there's Onyx. All right, you got this one, buddy? Uh, nope, not quite. I'll just throw an iron thorn at it, it's no big deal. Uh, here's another TM, Stealth Rock. That's unfortunately not all that great in this game. No! Uh-oh, this is bad. Um, cats, I really could use your help right now. Oh, I can't even move because I'm confused. Well, when you're confused, you can just throw items around, and that's a good way to make sure that you're hitting whatever you're trying to aim for. Oh, that's right! I completely forgot about Payback. They changed Payback in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, one other thing that's important to note is Drift Blim are very obnoxious. As long as they're not holding an item, they will move twice thanks to their unburden ability. Now, they're almost never gonna be holding an item, so <laughs> that's really not very good. Yeah, you're, you're gonna set yourself up for taking a lot of damage if you run into those things, so watch out. Um, oh, okay, my belly's empty. Time to eat an apple. There we go, no big deal. No big deal. Yeah, that's right. Okay, hold on. I need to remember what Payback does. Um, so let's take a look here. It reflects damage from physical attack moves back to the attacking enemy. Yeah, that's entirely different than what I had thought. So I probably would have been better just keeping Screech, but oh well, it's fine. That's one interesting thing about the Mystery Dungeon series is, you know, if you are familiar with what a move does in the main series game, you might be very surprised with what it does in the Mystery Dungeon. It could be entirely different. Hey, Zig, is that the exit over there? Let's check it out. <sighs> Did we manage to stretch our lead over those Sableye? We should rest a bit here. Hey, there's water there. Um, this is the slowest moving water I've ever seen. Huh? This waterfall. The water's not flowing. The gushing water is totally suspended in space. Is Grovile right after all? Has time really stopped in the future? Why did Dust Noir bring us here? The great Dust Noir who was so kind to us. I don't know what to believe anymore. If only there was some way of finding the truth. Oh, I know. 
There is one way of getting at the truth, Zig. Huh? Your dimensional scream. Use your dimensional scream, Zig. Touch this frozen water. Who knows? You may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching that frozen water might just give us clues about what's happening to us. We shouldn't waste any time. Those Sableye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. Zig touched the frozen spray of water. How's it going, Zig? Cats here. Can you see anything? Uh, not having any luck. Sorry. No, huh? Eh, that's too bad. It would have made me less white if we could begin to understand what's happening. We didn't learn anything at all. We spent a lot of time here. If we don't hurry, those Sableye will catch up to us. Let's get ready and go, Zig. Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and store some of these items that I don't need. Uh, actually, gravel rocks are better than geopebbles, but I don't really want to... Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll just deposit. We'll probably pick up some more, too, which will be nice. Alright, so I'm going to deposit these items, and then, you know what? I think we're going to leave this for the next episode, because this is going to be <laughs> a bit scary. This is a longer dungeon up ahead. So, yeah. Anyway, we're in the future! And everything's all frozen in the future, and scary, and dangerous, and just not good. Oh man, this is crazy. Anyway, thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.